Aren't you a ranger player? Don't you play some rangers? Yes. Yeah, it, it's definitely one of my favorite um, favorite classes. They also let you have air control with this, so you can steer it while you're in the air. And we, we fine-tuned the animation, I believe. Uh, Alex put in some time to make sure that um, it's it's holding you only for the right amount. It's not it's not grabbing you and locking you in place weirdly on landing. Um, we really polished up how it, how it feels whenever you use it. Um, so it's just really seamless and nice to use. Oh, and, and the effect that it's providing, if you actually hit a target with it, um, it, it does pretty big damage and also roots the target. So this is a really good skill. Whenever your tank pulls in a big pack of monsters, you just airstrike over top of it, lock it all down in place, and then you and your mages blow up the pack. I think it looks great. Yeah, this is definitely a, a favorite ability on the team by a lot of people. Um, it shoots a lightning arrow at the target, and if you're far enough away, I believe the conversion range is 10 meters, it does an additional AoE explosion around the target. Ooh, okay. So that did 96. Let's see if I'm closer. Oh. Okay, so it does a variable amount of damage, and also it changes it to to be AoE around the target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, so you get more damage. Um, we, we wanted to have some abilities in the kit, uh, at, at least with the showcase that we're showing right now, where it's range focused, where there's there is some advantage for staying at range. <laughs> we'll see. What do we got over here? Oh, I love that. That's awesome. My uh, my, oops. Oh wow! Nice. The uh, <clears throat> the snipe followed the target. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of uh, aim offset there in animation that we did. Yeah, that looks great. Quite a few of the bow abilities do it actually. It's just a lot more obvious with snipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, headshot's another one. It, as long as it's within a certain angle, um, it, it will try to maintain tracking of the target. Uh, and yeah, the, the way that we pulled it off, it's not like uh, affecting your control rotation at all. It's, it's just an appearance thing. Oh, it feels good. <clears throat> feels very good. Yeah, I mean, it's important to note even when we're not in official plates, us like when we're building these things, we make it um, a key point to be playing the stuff as we're building it. Uh um, and this particular location uh, called the Gem Spring um, is uh, a remnant, uh, a shard remnant of one of the Harbingers uh, that broke off and um, actually has begun some interesting interaction with essence within this area so uh, those of you guys who are going to be participating in alpha 2 this will be a location where you're going to have some related quests and this gives you an idea about uh, gem springs do you want to pull them yeah get it all get Keep it them all. in chains though I'm, i got an aoe down pull them back in get as many as you can oh my god yeah big chungus pull I'm gonna go all the way around. Oh. Okay, oh God. here they come. Okay, okay, where are you at? Where are you at? They're right here. <laughs> oh, they leashed. <laughs> okay, we got some of them. That wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. Fortunately, these guys are just kind of slow. A little mycelium. Let's take a look at their... Not, not the ravens, though. Ooh, the ravens are quick. Ooh. Oh, they push you out of the way! Awesome. We cleaned up this place. That was very cool. Yeah, no. 